Welcome back to Find Your Alpha. On this week's video, I'm going to be talking about why I believe the majority of women, modern women, are untrustworthy. Now, this is just my estimate on what I believe from my personal experience and also from observation. And I also have a poll at the end of this video which backs up a lot of what I'm saying, but I believe that two thirds of modern women are untrustworthy. So let's get into this. Let's go through some facts here, first of all. The female of most species are innately, meaning it's built into them, hypergamous. What I mean by that, whether it's a peacock, whether it's a lion, whether it's a robin, doesn't matter, a human being, the female of every species is hypergamous. They're always going to be looking for the highest and best male they can secure for themselves and for their offspring. Again, it's built into them. It's innately part of their being. You can't change that. Some women suppress it, uh, while others cannot suppress it. And that, I think, is what drives a lot of the untrustworthy behavior in modern women, and really in women throughout all time. It's just now, especially over the last 20 to 30 years, the standards in society have broken down so much, and in particular over the last five to seven years. The second point, the female of most species are innately focused on their survivability. So those two points, I think, are the key drivers in why you know, women are untrustworthy, specifically the modern woman where all the standards in society have been broken down. And why have the standards in society been broken down? It's because of the FU men movement. And I think you know what I mean when I'm talking about the FU men movement. It's a movement that's been going on for 40 or 50 years now and has really been magnified over these last five to seven years and where, hey, anything goes. There's no standards. Don't worry about it. Go out there as women, sow your wild oats, have sexual relations with as many men as you want. And then when you're ready to settle down, you know, get some nice guy, some sucker out there to marry you and live happily ever after. That's what's being preached. So again, that's driving women I believe to be totally untrustworthy. Point four, most women settle for a man who is not their first choice. And I've said this in previous videos. Guys, if you know this woman has had a passionate affair with another guy and this other guy was an alpha male, I would bet dollars to donuts that that alpha male was her first choice. Now she's marrying you, and probably 75% of the time, these women are settling. And those type of marriages never work out to be happy marriages for the male, and oftentimes end in divorce for one reason or another. Final point, marriage, which has always been a risky proposition for men, is now something that should never be considered. Why in the world would anybody, would any man in today's modern society decide to get married? There's no financial benefit for the individual, for the male. There's no really personal benefit because if that ends in divorce and like almost 60% of marriages now end in divorce, the man is going to come out on the short end of the stick probably 90% of the time. He's going to give up 50% of his fortune, more than likely, depending on the state. If he's got children, those children are going to be probably put primary custody to the female, regardless of her situation. And the poor guy, what does he get for it? Nothing. If you want to have children, there are ways to do that. I mean, you don't have to be married. You can still have that relationship with the woman care for those children, have some kind of a, an agreement with her where you provide her support, provide the children with support. You don't have to get married in order to have children. 
And I think the biggest driver for many men out there is that the society norms have been so for, you know, going back hundreds of years to get married, to pair up. And I would say, you know, if you'd roll back the clock 50 years, I would say, you know what, I agree with that. All heterosexual men should get married. But in today's modern society where all the standards have been broken down, my suggestion to all men out there, to all young men out there specifically, is don't get married. There's other ways of achieving your personal goals in life, like having children, without the need to get married. All right, now here's some of the backup information that I have that kind of supports my theory on two thirds of the women out there are untrustworthy. This was a poll conducted by OnePoll.com back in 2014. So this is like eight years ago. And I think this poll was conducted for the Daily Mail or some other large publication. But in this poll, they asked married women, if they something happened to their relationship, do they have a fallback partner, another man that they could pick up with and move on with? 50% of women admitted they had backup husbands in the event their current relationship did not work. Now think about that for a minute. These are married women. These are not just women who are dating or who are out there doing hookups and things like that where you can understand that. Hey, if this guy doesn't work out, I'll just go to plan B. I'll go to plan C. These are women who are married that are saying that 50% of them, I think it was a little over 50%, admitted that they had backup husbands. Now listen to this. The most common backup husbands tended to be old friends with romantic intentions. And I did a video before where I said women, once they're married or in a committed relationship with a man, should not have any friends in quotations. It also says, you know, they could be ex-boyfriends, ex-husbands, colleagues, or someone from the gym. I did a video on this as well, about a woman who meets a guy at a gym and has sex with him the same day. Meanwhile, she was somebody's fiance. I mean, that kind of stuff is totally disgusting, but folks, I hate to say, it happens more than we like to believe. 10% of the participants said their backup guy had already confessed his love in the past, and 20% claimed the dude would drop everything to be with her if she asked. Now, these guys have to be real beta male simps. I mean, what a lot of people call orbiters, you know, that are just out there kind of floating around, and anytime this woman has a need, you know, they will just drop everything and take, you know, care of her needs. Now, who in her right mind, a strong man, would never do that? Who's going to wait around for a woman until she says, Oh, I'll take you now. You can be my sloppy seconds or my sloppy thirds. I mean, most guys, most strong men would say that's a bunch of bullshit. Hit the road. You know, I'm not giving you anything. But there are a lot of weak men out there that are desperate to get some snatch. And they will do anything, anything to get with a woman including waiting out there for a married woman to maybe get a divorce or to get a, a inkling to cheat on their husbands. Disgusting, disgraceful, but again, it does happen. Around one in four women who have a backup plan have feelings as strong for him as they do for their other half. Now think about that. So there's 25%, one in four women who have a backup plan. So that's really, I guess that's more like 12, 12 and a half percent. So one fourth of 50%. But still, that's like one out of eight married women said that they have feelings as strong for their backup plan as they do for their husbands. Now let that sink in. Let that sink in. This husband who's paying for everything in the house, who's taking care of them when they're sick, who's entertaining them, who's listening to all of their problems, 
and just putting up with all their shit. This poor guy who's doing all that, he's like basically the same as some plan B out there who's not doing shit for them. Incredible. I mean, it's really incredible. And the next point, talking about incredible, it says 12% went as far to admit their feelings were stronger for plan B and close to 7 in 10 admitted they are currently in contact with him. Finally here, around half of the women who took part in the poll said their other half was aware of the third party. Now, I guarantee this 50% of the men weren't aware that this guy was somebody who is the plan B. They may be aware, oh, this is just an old friend of hers, you know, from college or Oh yeah, I knew she used to date this guy back in high school. I guarantee these husbands, most of them, the majority of them, may know of this guy, but they do not know that this guy is a plan B. And if they do, they're weak, simp, beta males um, that really have no backbone. Because if you know a woman has a plan B, you know, what you need to do with her is sit her down and say, hey, listen, this relationship is between you and me. If you're not in this 100% and you've got a plan B, you know what? Get your ass out, hit the road, I'm moving on and finding me someone who is committed. And I would advise that guy not to get married. So it's a short video here, but I wanted to get this point out because in my estimation, I believe that two thirds of modern women are untrustworthy. And this poll conducted eight years ago. Now remember, the world has changed in eight years. It's gotten worse. And this poll was with married women. What happens when you put the total population of women in there? Think about it, guys. Two thirds, it's not out of the question. So my advice to all the guys out there, be careful. Don't get into committed relationships with women that you know, you know have significant others from the past that are really their plan A's. And my strong advice, don't get married. There's really no benefit to marriage for a man in this 21st century as society is currently structured. So good luck out there, gentlemen, and I'll talk to you on the next video.